live with coverage you can count on. This is KSLA News 12 at 6. I'm still working and all of a sudden I hear gunshots. There's probably five or six that happened, kind of spread out. We're hearing that the chief was involved. Chief Crump, can you confirm that? The role of Chief Crump and all the other officers hadn't been determined right now. Next question. It was right in our little driveway, right here where he was running by, and I guess that's where they were shooting at him. Do y'all still have the security video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We're continuing our coverage tonight after the Shreveport Chief of Police, Alan Crump, was placed on paid leave following an officer-involved shooting. We've learned he fired his service weapon. KSLA News 12's Melissa Kakarika live on the scene where Chief Crump and Lieutenant Prunty fired those shots, missing that suspect. More on that arrest and that new video in just a moment. But first, we start with KSLA News 12's Nick Lawton live at Shreveport Police Department. And Nick, what are you hearing is the reason behind Chief Crump being placed on paid administrative leave? Well, Shreveport Mayor Ali Tyler issued a statement, Doug and Dominique, telling us that the chief was going to be placed on departmental leave with pay to ensure a thorough and transparent investigation. We continue our team coverage tonight with KSLA News tells Melissa Kakarika, who is back out in the neighborhood where the officers fired those shots and eventually caught the second suspect, Melissa. Take a look at this surveillance video we obtained from some of the leasing and office agents here at Port City Realty showing part of that chase going through this area right here where I'm standing. Unclear exactly who we're seeing in the chase, but clearly this is part of the chase. Convicted for domestic violence and many other felonies won't prevent hundreds of state inmates from walking out of Louisiana prisons beginning tonight at midnight. More than 60 could be released from Caddo Par Parish prison alone. It's part of a new initiative designed to steer less serious offenders away from prison and reduce prison terms for those who can safely be supervised in the community. Stingray, shrimp, and sea stars. These are just some of the marine life you will see when the Shreveport Aquarium opens tomorrow. Today we got a one last look at the aquarium before it is set to open. The work has been underway at the location, which was the historic Barnwell Center for Mons. We caught up with one of the workers to get a little bit of a closer look as to what you'll see. So you can see a little bit of everything here. We've got a small collection of freshwater fish from your, your local waterways and uh, some saltwater animals from all over the world. We also have three really awesome touch tanks so you can pet a stingray, get a manicure by some cleaner shrimp, and we have our cold water touch exhibit so you can touch some uh, sea stars and uh, decorator crabs from the Oregon coast. All right, never heard of cleaner shrimp. Well, I'll have to go and check them out. <laughs> All right, we will have coverage tomorrow of the official opening. I can't wait. We track storms. Well, good evening, everyone. Unfortunately, Trick or Treat 2017 is looking wet for some of you. The rain is welcome to provide drought relief. Here's the latest on live first alert Doppler. And unfortunately, between 4 o'clock when we were first on this afternoon and where we are now, uh, the radar has continued to fill in here with the rainfall. And in some cases, some heavier downpours. Starting to see some of that develop as well, especially north of Shreveport. Northern parts of Caddo and Bossier Parish now from near the state line back through the Benton area to near plain dealing. We are seeing some heavier downpours showing up here. So this is going to put down some rain and a good bit of it in a very short period of time. And do want to remind you about the time change. We do fall back Saturday night into Sunday morning, which means your weekend will be one hour longer. Yes. Can I get a round of applause? Uh, but that does mean once we do the time change sunset will be an hour earlier than it is. Don't already. screw. I mean, you had us. You had me I at had longer than hour longer. You had me at an hour longer than you messed the whole yeah. thing up. <laughs> Well, when you talk about Louisiana Tech, the best way to discuss them right now is just all you can say is you got to win the games that you're supposed to. And that's the only thing they can honestly do at this point now at four and four. It all starts with hosting CUSA West leading North Texas, the mean green this weekend. And it wasn't too long ago, Devin White was like dozens of other kids in the Arklatex getting recruited by a who's who of schools. And naturally, only fittingly, it came down to LSU and Alabama. LSU felt more at home and LSU is home for me because I'm from Louisiana. Jeff's back with us. I'm getting a few pics from the family. They're successfully trick-or-treating and <laughs> been able to dodge the raindrop so far. Traversing the rain. We've still got it out there. Here's another look at live first alert Doppler as we leave. Make sure you have the rain gear.